In the previous video you saw how I improved my 2017 Bosch track clamps using countersink screws. In this video I'll simplify them more using plastic in the track rather than the countersink screws. I'll go through my design process in Fusion 360 and again make the design files available for free. One of the reasons for making this new video is because Irwin has made new versions of their clamps and to make the design of any use, changes would be needed. So I went out and bought a pack of the new clamps and set about making the changes. Show you my thought process for the design of these clamps. And the program I use is Autodesk Fusion 360, which is free for personal use, but only if you generate less than a thousand US dollars in annual revenue, which is a real shame because it used to be that you can earn less than 100,000 a year. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. So the first thing I like to do is start off with some dimensions. And instead of modeling the part straight away, I like to make a design of the part that I'm trying to make a part for and in that way you can see quite easily how it all hangs together. So here I've created a sketch that shows the side profile of the track. Then I would extrude that to show the track and for good measure insert the rubber strips. Then on the underside of the track I'll create an offset plane and that's good when you want to move the part about later. And then create a sketch on that plane and draw in the oval shape of the bar. Now I'll extrude the bar and now we'll have a physical body. Then I'll create a sketch on the side with a circle that shows where the hole is in the bar and then we'll extrude that to create the hole. And so that we know that the pad and the trigger mechanism for the clamp bar won't get in the way, we'll create a rectangle for the pad and extrude that. Then we'll chamfer the corners, create a construction plane that's down the middle and on that plane we can create a sketch to show the side profile of the lever. Then we can extrude equally on both sides for the lever and these don't need to be actual replicas, just something to give you a rough idea. Then I can add a sketch to show the side profile of the machine screw. And this is the new machine screw from the new style of Irwin clamps. And then we can revolve this to create a solid. Then a little bit in from the end of the screw, we can create a construction plane that holds the sketch for the nut. And then we can draw the shape of the nut and extrude the nut to make a solid. And now we can create a sketch to show the end profile of our plastic clamp block. So we'll turn back on the sketch for the track side and then we can draw the profile of the clamp, taking into consideration the dimensions of the slot in the track and the nut, screw and bar of the clamp. Now we can extrude that to the width of the plastic block that we need. Then we can draw two triangular sections to cut off to make it look nicer and so they don't snag on the lever and then we'll extrude to cut that away. Next I create a sketch on the end of the countersink screw to show the position of where we want a hole to go through that plastic block. And then we'll show the block and then create a countersink hole. And then we'll extrude out from the end of the screw out to the side of the plastic block. And then we'll extrude the hexagon shape to create a hole for the nut. Next we'll create four triangles on the top and extrude them to make the edges nicer. Now we'll extrude the bar shape from the top profile down to the bottom and then up from the top to create some clearance space. Now we just have to export that part and I have a Bamboo Labs A1 printer so I'm using Bamboo Studio and I can create some plates for the clamps to be printed out on. And here we have designs for both the old and new versions of the Irwin clamp. So top left we have the screw version where we use some screws that go into the track. And the other three designs are for a plastic insert, no screws in the track itself. Bottom left I've added on the word Bosch on the underside and on the right no Bosch. So likely the one you'd want to print out is the one on the bottom right there. And I've set these up to have different levels of infill for the different areas. So more infill around the bar and less infill top and bottom. And these use about 22 cents worth of filament. I 
and that slides in nice and easy. Now we've eliminated all the extra screws and now the block is 100% 3D printed. The filament was under 60 cents, the donor clamps $15 for two, power 5 cents, totaling $15.65. And compared to the Bosch $145 clamps, that's a saving of $129. Result. I have a Bamboo Labs A1 printer, so I currently use Bamboo Studio to print. You can use any slicer you want, and I've made the files available for free on Maker World. If you don't have a 3D printer, you could check out a local makerspace or library, or use an online print service such as GLC PCB. Just remember to print the clamps in the vertical position, that's where they're strongest. Cheerio. Sorted.